Hello, Grandma Daisy here. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Someone said, where'd you get the apron? I said, Dollar Tree. They had them for a dollar. It's a paper apron. Glad I lost 30 pounds. That way I could actually get a paper $1 apron around me. They make those things little usually, but this one's pretty cool. All right. Um, I took peanuts to my stepfather for Christmas. He loved them. And I'll just show you really quick again how I'm, I found my best way. I've got all kinds of ways to do peanuts. I fry them. I like it all. All right. But this is avocado oil, and I'm having trouble getting avocado oil in my life. So I decided that I would now cook my peanuts in avocado oil, and I cook them at 260 degrees for an hour and a half, and I turn off the oven, don't open the door, and just let them sit in there. That seems to be perfect. When the oven cools off, they're just, just right as far as I'm concerned. So, and it's kind of a lazy way to do it, but I put the avocado oil on the sheet, I fill the sheet, and then I mix them up into the peanuts. Throw some salt on it, and we're going to shove it in the oven. After this little project, I am going to make Reese's peanut butter cups, or bars, because I'm too lazy to do individual cups. And I'm taking those to one of my diabetic clients tonight, because he, he gets goodies. They're not good for him. He has to take more insulin. And uh, I'm going to give him some goodies that won't raise his insulin. And bless his little heart. I hope he likes them. And I'm going to be making him some muffins because he really likes the pork rind muffins. So that's what I'm doing for Christmas today to take to other people when I go back to work tonight. This is fun. Ignore the dirty kitchen. I just don't have time to clean it. It's either cook or clean. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'd rather cook. <laughs> And I'm back. I did a little pre-prepping here because I just wanted this to go quick. Something like this is probably all over the net, so I didn't want to take a lot of your time, you know. I don't have time to watch other people. But if you do, God bless you. So this is two cups, almost nearly, of ground up pork rinds. I know when I told my cousin I was going to make Reese's cups out of ground up pork rinds and peanut butter, they were like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, they missed that episode. I've done this before. So, I'm going to put about an equal peanut butter to pork rind ratio in here, uh, but I don't have another cup, so I'm just going to put about, uh, I stirred this up as best I could. I got two cups of pork rinds, I could probably go a little less on the peanut butter. I'm going to do about a cup and a half or so of peanut butter. That's close to that whole jar. I wanted to save some of that peanut butter back though for another recipe. And, uh, yes, my water's frozen today, guys. All that snow out there, it is so pretty. So Christmassy. So something I don't want to drive in. <laughs> and I'm going to add some melted butter to this. I would say two tablespoons of melted butter. That is going to make it good. You can even put in three. <laughs> and we're going to stir, stir, stir. Butter, peanut butter, and pork rinds all together. And make sure that it comes to like a really tight consistency. And it has. Now, sweetener. Use what you like. I'm going to use a half a cup of monk fruit. This is the golden kind. It has a little bit of a brown sugar flavor to it. I'm gonna, it's not very sweet. No, I don't think it's as sweet as sugar. Then I'm going to put in about an eighth of a teaspoon of my sucralose. Now, I'm going to taste this when I get this in here. And uh, if it's not sweet enough, we'll, we can add some more sucralose to it. You know, it looks like the inside of a Chico stick to me. Have you all seen the insides of Chico sticks? Everybody ever wondered what's in a Chico stick? I'm starting to think it's pork rinds. I loved Chico sticks when I was a kid. Oh, man. All right, taste test. Mmm, not sweet enough. Add another eighth. Make it a big quarter. That ought to do it. I want the interior, the Chico sticky part of the Reese's Cup to be really sweet. I think that's what makes it delicious. And that should well do it. Again, do it to your own taste. If you like the inside not sweet, just like peanut butter, don't add a sweetener into it. 
It should be fine. You know? Alright. We've arrived. I've got about three tablespoons of melted butter in here. It is Kerrygold, just because that's what I had, and it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Kerrygold. Okay. One bag of the sugar-free Hershey's chips. Debbie loves these things. So do I. They're probably not good for us. Anything I like is never good for me. I'm going to stick these back on the stove. And when they get melted, we're going to put them into my molds. Now you can use anything you want. The little paper cup things would be really good if you've got the little bitty molds. And I do have the little bitty molds in silicon around here. I just, since my water's frozen and I have to use coffee pot hot water to wash with, I'm trying to make things a little easier for myself. <laughs> and these are easier to wash, those individual little cups. If I have lots of water, no problem. But that's why I'm using these today. And then I'm going to cut these into pieces. I want to make mine fairly thick. That's why I came out and made this pretty big batch of filling on the cent in the center. The peanut butter, sugar, and pork rinds. Because I want that filling, filling to be thicker than the chocolate part. The, I find the Hershey sugar-free chocolate pieces to taste like a dark chocolate. And uh, they're not super sweet. Um, they make a great coating. So, when they get melted, we're going to pour a little of that chocolate in the bottom of each one of these and uh, let it sit up a little. And since it's 24 degrees outside and about 32 in my kitchen, just above freezing, it will sit up really quick. Okay, I've had these two in the fridge chilling. They are now solid. we got the other one back in the freezer. And uh, I'm just going to put my pork rind filling right in here, squish it out. And then we'll put a layer of chocolate on top and return them to the refrigerator or freezer. Be able to cut those up tonight and uh, take those pieces to my little friends. We'll see. At least I know they'll be enjoying them and they've probably already eaten too much sugar today. They didn't need any more real sugar. <laughs> and they'll enjoy them tomorrow if they're asleep tonight. The bottoms are going to be thicker than the tops, and that's all right. If you want to do a lot of these, you're probably going to need more than one bag of Hershey's chips. All right, spread it to the edge, and we're going to return this to the refrigerator until later tonight. And then these will be awesome. I know some of you are thinking what I'm thinking. I could probably just eat one whole thing of these. We'll just call this one giant Hershey's cup. <laughs> One giant peanut butter cup. There's mine. Where's yours? <laughs> In conclusion, my YouTube family and friends, on this beautiful snowy Christmas day, uh, I am home alone. Don't despair. I'm not completely alone. I have Angus, Betsy, and Skedner. And Mom and Poppy said they thought they might go up to the Excuse me. Skunder! Leave her alone! Thank you. You were a bad dog. What are you doing bothering Betsy like that? Get up here on the chair and sit down. He says, I don't want to sit on that tractor seat. It's cold. Don't blame you, kiddo. Anyway, <laughs> he's looking at it like, and it moves. They were going to go up to the boats tonight. I, the other night, after the family deal, even though I had to be up early, and this is why I overslept, Mom and I ran over to Boonville and went to the boat for just a little while. We both had $40 a piece, and I said, that's all we're spending. When we're done, we're done. Well, Christmas miracle. I more than doubled my money. When I do that, I am out of there. I'm not one of those people that keeps playing. <laughs> I have to say, I think they know it, which is why I used to never win. Now, Mom, she'll get up, and then she won't quit until she plays all of her money back in. She's like, oh, boy, so what are you going to hit bigger? You already hit the jackpot. You doubled your money. Quit. Everybody gambles different, just like everybody celebrates Christmas different, just like everybody, you know, takes words different. We're all different, aren't we? And I think about that on this holiday season, and you know, it's like, 
I, it, some of our differences, they matter to some of us, but to most of us, they don't. I really think the human race is very tolerant on an individual basis. Who was it that said individual people are reasonable, groups of people are not? Now that's interesting food for thought. Well, I guess that's why I stay alone an individual. I try to keep an open mind about everything. Even when people say ugly things to me, I'm kind of like, yeah, they're right. Yeah, you know, can't argue with that. If it's the truth, I will not argue it. So, anyway, I hope that you are not watching this. I hope <laughs> that this won't get left loaded for several days. My internet's slow. I think it's because everybody's on vacation. And they're on the internet, and it's slowing it down. So, But that's all right. So now you know how to make the Reese's peanut butter cup, fat bombs, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure that recipe is all over the net. I haven't had a chance to look. But it's simple, simple. And then I'm going to get ready here to make that little young man some pork rind muffins. I think we're going to do... I hope he likes cranberry. If not... I will definitely do some chocolate ones because everybody loves chocolate. And it's just a matter of dividing the dough you make with the pork rinds in half and adding cranberry and I've got some dark cherry jello chips I've dehydrated. And uh, the other one we'll put cocoa and extra sweetener in. So no big deal. I no time. So I uh, pulled my little Reese's peanut butter cup out early <laughs> and it wasn't chilled all the way through yet but I had some great news called my mom to see if I needed to take her presents over to her if she was home and she said they were on their way over here so <laughs> yay! visitors for Christmas so excited had to do the real quick panic taking things off you know because I got their presents ready and about the only time my house gets cleaned fast is when I'm in a panic. I can't find a knife. <laughs> Boy, if I had a dime for every time I said I can't find a spoon or a knife, right? But I'm going to go ahead and just cut these. I wanted to share some with my mom. So I pulled them out a little early. That's okay. I'm going to stick them in the freezer for a quick chill. But I wanted you to see... Oh, heck with it. They're ugly. They look terrible. They'll taste great. Take my word for that one. Mmm. All right. You get the idea. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. I'm going to be making some cranberry muffins next, so hang on. I love y'all. Hello, Grandma DC here. And if you haven't tuned in before, sorry, can't explain it all. <laughs> This is my zero carb bread recipe made into a muffin. Everybody knows it by now. I have two cups of crushed pork rinds in this bowl. And to this I am going to add a big old dollop of sour cream. You can do this in any order you want. <laughs> or you can leave the sour cream out. That would be fine. I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Again, you can just use water. If you want to just use water, that will make it even more zero carb. But I'm making muffins today, not just bread. So, I kind of wanted to make them richer, just so that they were more dessert-like. Two cups of pork rinds. Repeat with me. Two eggs. <laughs> we almost know this by heart, don't we? Two cups of pork rinds, two eggs. And two scoops of ISO pure zero carb protein powder. If you don't have this, you can substitute coconut flour. I've heard almond flour works. It makes a real tender product. And I'm going to put in a couple of scoops here, which would probably be the equivalent of half a cup. It's not critical. That's what cooking is around here. It's not critical. And so once you get the eggs, the powder, and uh, the sour cream if you use it. Otherwise just add water until you get a muffin consistency. I'm going to add about half a cup of water to start. Add a little 
goes slow. It's easier to add than to take away. And my batter is still too thick. Add a little more. Mom will be here any minute to pick up her presents, her some Pop's presents. I'm so excited. I will have to quit vlogging because Pop doesn't want his picture on camera. Oh, gosh. Now, whatever kind of sweetener you like to use. I have erythritol, sucralose, stevia, which is my favorite, but not for cooking. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of erythritol. I'm just going to use up this bag. That was about a tablespoon and a half. There you go. That one's done. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the erythritol. This does have stevia mixed into it. And I'm going to go with about half a cup. And we're going to stir our sweeteners in. Use whatever kind of sweetener you like to sweeten your muffins. And then don't forget to taste. Now, once we get this stirred in and we taste it, we make sure that our muffin mix is sweet enough. Hmm. And that's really good. I make it a little oversweet. When they bake, they get less sweet. I'm going to add a cap full of vanilla. Vanilla makes all flavors good. And then I'm going to divide this because some of these are going to be cranberry and some of these are going to be um, chocolate. All right, I divided my dough in half after I put the vanilla in. On this one, I'm going to put, oh, maybe a slight tablespoon of the dark cocoa powder. And we're going to stir that in. I'm also going to add some cacao nibs to this. Add some raw cacao nibs for a little extra special crunch. About a tablespoon of those in there. You can put as much as you want. Or as little. Or none. Your choice on that one. Everybody who watches my channel. One, two, three, go. Something to make it raise. Baking powder. I always forget the baking powder. How is it going to raise without the baking powder? There we go. It'll pinch more. Teaspoon in each. That'll do it. Yes, it would be best if you put the baking powder in while the ingredients were dry. <laughs> I heard ya. I always forget until I start to put it in the pan and I start thinking about how much it's going to raise, you know, how, built, how full should I fill it. And then every single time I'm like, ah! I fill them, they don't raise a whole lot, so I fill them pretty close to the top. Oh boy, I guess that one right. Four almost exactly. We're going to add the cranberry flavoring and the pseudo jello dried cranberries that I made in my other video. Oh, it smells like cherries anyway. I'm going to put a whole capful, two capfuls, because I happen to know that this one's just a little bit weak. My little pieces of dehydrated jello cherry. Oh well, what else am I going to use it for? Nothing. Let's just put it all in there then. Might as well use it up. And here's what that looks like. These are dried jello with glucominin bits. I mixed them up till they were thick and then dehydrated them. You can do it in the oven. I'm going to stir them into that with that cranberry flavoring. Added a little more cream to it because it was getting thick again. I'm taking too much time, that's what I'm doing. We get this all stirred together, we're going to put it in the pans right next to the chocolate ones. That's what I mean about tasting, you've got to taste. Things change the taste and textures and colors. And, you know, you've got to have this the way you like it and then you hope that other people like it the same way. Not always. Yeah, everybody's different, you know. You can please some of the people some of the time. You can't please all the people any time. <laughs> no. We're going to throw them in 375 for 25 minutes. Check on them in 20 minutes. And I'll be back. I can get the peanuts out of the oven. <laughs> Mine. Oh. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably be saying that some more too. <laughs> well, I'm 
back. <laughs> Mom was just here Christmasing me, bless her heart. And uh, I got her to tell everybody Merry Christmas. <laughs> Pop won't let me film him. But uh, she gave me this lovely soft Sherpa robe. I love it. Socks. I always need socks. I don't know if any of you noticed. I run around without socks on all the time. And some fantastic house shoes, which I'm tempted to wear to work tonight because <laughs> I'm going to be chasing a young man all night long. Oh, well, I tell you what, I've got the chocolate uh, muffins done. I've got the cherry cranberry. I'm going to pick one of them up. Ooh, hot. Oh, smells good. Smells like cherries. Let's get a nice close look at them. Oh, aren't they pretty? And they rose up real nice. So, uh, I finally made it through the day vlogging. And I'm going to have time to get a couple hours nap. And I'm kind of engrossed in the Christmas show right now. It's called A Christmas Heiress on Netflix. So, uh, I may not get any sleep at all, but it's Christmas. Hey, I get the next night off. I can power through for 24 hours. I love you all. I hope your Christmas is going wonderfully well. I love you all. Dwayne, thank you so much for all your well wishes all day long. That has been so sweet. And I'm going to go watch TV, let these cool off, bag them up, take them to work with me. Because a special little man I think is going to enjoy these. I love you all. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Let's all start barking.